Welcome. Today we're going to be making a mini macrame with a rune talisman and it includes six pieces of cotton cord and three rune beads, either in silver, gold, or copper. This all came in the kit with the Luna Lux box for November Nurturing Soul. Once you get everything situated, make sure you take out the shortest string and tie it around your cinnamon stick so you can hang it. It's much easier to do this with a hanging macrame stick, but for this purpose, I went ahead and used a large crystal to hold mine in place. Then you're going to start doing slip knots. Make sure that the cord is equal in length, and you're going to do five across the top of your cinnamon stick. Then you're gonna spread out your cord so that you can see where all of the different numbers are for your weaving. I had to get tricky with my carnelian flame to keep it in place, but once you hang this up, it should be much easier for you to see. In the middle, we're going to take four strings and you're going to do an under slip knot to the right. Very gentle, very loose. None of these knots should be tight. You want it to be loose so that it looks like a rosette when you're done. Then get the other side and do another underneath slip knot, but now go over to the left. You'll either get a large cinnamon stick with a little bit thicker cord like you see to the right, or you'll get a smaller stick with a little bit thinner cord. Each one turns out really cool. As you can see, I just did it again, both sides. But now I'm going over the top and then doing the slip knot. So it's two under and two over. That's when you get this little rosette. Now you're going to switch over to the four strings to the right. And just like you performed in the middle, you're going to start with an under slip knot and then pull it through to the right. Nice and loose. Now you're gonna take the other side, do an under slip knot, and pull it over to the left. Then we're gonna go right, but we're gonna go over the top now, and then through to the right. over the top and through to the left. You can kind of see it coming together now. So now we're headed over to the left side and we're gonna use those four strings and do the exact same thing, except now we're gonna be starting on the right side instead of the left. And you're gonna go over and then pull it over into the left. Under, pull it over to the right.
over, pull it over to the left. Over and then pull it to the right. Now we're going to head towards the middle. And you're going to see those four strings in the middle. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Under and through. Stop right there. And then under and through. Keep it nice and loose. Now over and through. And over and through. Now that we've completed our four rosettes, we're gonna work on the border down below. And just like we've been doing, we're going to go ahead and do another slip knot. This time you're gonna grab three and do an over and through. In the opposite direction. And then we're going to take from the middle and pull it in towards the center. Throughout the process, you can pull it apart a little bit, loosen it, and make sure that you can keep track of your cords. And we did a simple one string slip knot, and then another simple one string slip knot. You can see a little bit of a butterfly pattern there. Now we're gonna add our beads. Now make sure that your runes are facing upright. And we're gonna string them on the two outside pieces and the middle two inside pieces. If you like my hand warmers, check out the video that I've got linked below where I yarn stitched these designs. These little guys came in the Wolf and Time box this month for November Nurturing Soul. So 
now we're gonna just place a knot underneath each bead after we string it. If you have the thinner cord, you might wanna do about two. Each kit came with different runes intuitively selected for you. Of course, if you're joining us and you haven't gotten a box and you're just doing this for fun with your own project supplies, you can add whatever beads you like. Now we're gonna go ahead and tie a little knot with these little inside loose pieces. Make sure it doesn't go too tight. And then the other side, we'll see two strings in between the beads. And you're just gonna tie a simple knot. Boom. Now we're going to trim the bottom so everything's pretty even. And you can do really whatever you like with these bottom pieces. You can braid them, demonstrate how you could kind of do that here. And you can also untwist the cord and get that frayed look like you see on the one on the right. You can also add more beads or your own little charms. You can add mini bottles full of herbs. You can really make this a personal project for yourself and make your talisman very special. So that sixth cord I'm grabbing and adding as my hanger now. And then I'm just gonna trim the ends. This is where you can sort of mold it into how you'd like it to see each type of knot. When you've got it just how you like it, you can go ahead and add even more things. I decided I wanted to add a feather to each one I found in my yard. And you can add things like dried herbs, pieces of lavender. I decided to grab a dried hibiscus flower from my hibiscus plant and just make it my own. You can hang these on your doorknob, above your door, in your car, just wherever that you feel like you need it. You can look up the meanings of your runes and see what they mean to you and meditate on the meaning. 
You can also add the charms and anything else you want to add extra magical properties. These are really just to really create something that you get to infuse with your own magic. I hope you enjoyed it and blessed be.